Hey guys, guess what? That 10 for 10 podcast went over huge. People are loving it. Don't miss out. It won't be there forever. If you want to get the 10 for 10, go to vinnytortorich.com and look down the right side of the homepage and you will see the 10 for 10 banner. What it is, the 10 top luminaries and their podcast. You don't have to go searching through almost a thousand podcasts to find these. They're right there for you for $10. 10 great podcasts for $10. You can't miss this. Go do it now. He's Hollywood's go-to guy for health and fitness. It's Fitness Confidential with celebrity fitness trainer Vinny Tortorich and co-host Anna Bacino. Your good intentions have been stolen, and I'm here to help you get them back. Yeah, that's right. Jesus, save me, please, because uh, I'm getting ready to make an announcement during this show today that not even Anna Vocino knows about. She's going to learn about it at the same time that you guys learn about it. This might be huge. It might go nowhere. I don't know. But you know who's going to help me figure this out? The beautiful, the voluptuous, the very red for some reason. Maybe she's sunburnt. Anna Vocino, how you doing, pumpkin? Oh, she's not ready. <laughs> I'm doing great. There she is. I, I unmuted. I guess maybe I'm red from going on a walk, but I also feel like it's 91 degrees for the first time this season, and I'm not ready. Anna, I was and, in my car five minutes ago. It said 96 where I am. Yeah, it's it's hot. Okay, I was talking to uh, John um, over there and Rob Bozovich um, uh, on their podcast. Oh, Yeah. Down in Florida, John told me that it was uh, 80 degrees. I told John it was 95. Rob was telling me up where he is, it was snowing. Yes. How crazy is springtime in America? It makes no Come sense. On. It makes no sense. Yep. And uh, um, this I want to hear this announcement. What is going on, This man? show will probably not be heard on um, YouTube because whenever I play any kind of music, they've been pulling it down, but uh, I'm good with that. You know what, YouTube? Do uh, Do you, people report you? Like, what happens? I don't know. I, I don't know what happens, but it, it, I, I don't think it's actually the music. You know, YouTube is its own little meritocracy now. Yeah. Uh, and they do whatever in the hell they want. Um, my friend Dennis Prager, love him or hate him, I don't care. Um, I like the guy. He's a good guy. They pull down some of his videos, and they'll say offensive nature. And not, Dennis Prager is Mr. Religion. There's nothing offensive in it, Right. That's so weird. Yeah, YouTube does what YouTube wants to do. And uh, so they've been pulling down some of my shows. So, hey, YouTube, take a little more Jethro Tull. Yeah. Come on, YouTube, take that. And there you go, YouTube. Oh, yeah, and I'm going to be announcing something real big. Yep, he made his name in Hollywood, Anna. That's what made me think about this song before the show came on, because uh, I may or may not be making my name in Hollywood. Ooh, what's happening? Just like Jethro, Did you sell a show? Just like Jethro Bodine, I might be a big Hollywood producer, Anna. <gasps> Did you guys sell the show? Nope, did not sell a show. Nobody will buy anything I got, Anna. They don't get me. <laughs> they don't get me. Look. And I'll tell this. I'll tell you this. Years ago, uh, back when infomercials were a big thing, internet didn't exist. Right. You know, Guthrie Ranker, all these big companies, yep. they called me in and they would go, hey, um, look, uh, we want you to come in. We want you to sell this ab shaker or this rocket ab machine or right. this butt buster 2000 or whatever. And I would go, all right, let me see what you got there. Because they were offering me good money to do it. And I would go, eh, I don't want to put my name on that. Oh, well, who, who cares? You make a lot of money. Yeah, go find someone else. Not me. You know, 
And then when I would go to them, because I had an in, because they were always trying to get me to push their ab rocket 3000 or whatever the hell they were pushing. I would go to them with something that would actually work. And they would go, "Hmm, not so much. Uh, We're we're good to go. Or they would go, oh, yeah, we'll do it. But uh, we want to use someone else, uh, not you, because you sound like an idiot. It's like, but wait, you wanted me for the ab 3000, right? Right. I think I told you, uh, the, the guy, Anna, he called me in for a meeting over at uh, Podcast One. Right. Um, what's his name? Uh, Norm or something? No, yeah, Norm was Pattis. It? Yeah. Norm Pattis calls me in to a meeting. I can mm-hmm. corroborate this story because Andy Schreiber, I took Andy Schreiber to the meeting. Okay. Because I had words for Norm Pattis. Norm Pattis is a very powerful man here in Hollywood. Uh, uh, a billionaire, Anna. Guys worth yeah. billions, right? Yeah. He's one of those guys, when you see the Laker basketball game, he's sitting on the floor of the Laker he's game. He's actually worth billions, unlike billionaire Don Coddington. Right. Yeah, this is really a billionaire. And the guy, he had a company called Westwood One. Yes. And as you know, when I first got to Hollywood, uh, I, I went around, you know, I had a popular radio show in New Orleans, and I went around to every station, and I said, hey, I want to do my show here, Talking Fitness. I had my DAT tapes. Remember when DAT mm-hmm. tapes were Oh, thing? I remember DAT tapes. I had my demo reel on a DAT tape. Yeah. Explain what a DAT is, Anna, to the it's audience. It's just an analog. Well, I guess no, it's, it's a, a digital. It's a it's digital, digital tape. It's digital, but it was like the first digital tape. It's digital analog tape, I think is what it means. Or something it's like, like a combination of the two. Yeah. So... I had, and they would go, yeah, you sound too jockey. And I would go, yeah, it's a show. It's a jockey show. Eh, I don't know. So right. whenever, I don't know if you remember this, uh, Norm Pattis wanted to bring my little uh, show here over to his big network, Podcast right. One. He calls me and you know, he's going to have the big meeting with me in his office, right? And uh, he goes, he, we sat down and he goes, he goes, you know, he goes, I've been listening to your show. I love it. Yeah, I mean, your voice and what you do and what you do over there. And he's giving me, you know, he's buttering my ass, Anna. He's putting right. triple butter. He's basting my ass with so much goddamn butter. I can, right. you, you, my ass doesn't even smell like an ass anymore. It smells <laughs> like butter base, right? Yeah. And I'm like, and I let him go on for a couple of minutes talking to me about how great I am. And right. he did that thing that all these people do. He goes, <laughs> my favorite joke is the one where you told Anna, the one about her tits. Oh, my God. And it's always like the show from the show that Monday, right? Like he heard it five minutes. Like he didn't tell me a joke I did 30 shows ago. Right. He was telling me a joke that was in the show that was currently out type of thing. By the way, it wasn't about your tits, Anna. I, don't, I can't remember what it was. But, but also – we don't really do jokes on this show. <laughs> right, but he mentioned so something that was on something a Something that he thought was funny. Okay, yeah, on a it. current show. And he was telling yeah. me how great I am. And as soon as he stopped talking, I said, you know, Norm, that's uh, it's very interesting that you feel that way about me. You really think my, my voice is one of those voices? He goes, listen, <laughs> I had podcast. I had ra- Westwood One Radio. I know good radio voices when I hear good radio voices. I mean, really? Okay. He goes, I, I've picked the best. And he goes on and on and on. I went, huh, that's interesting because uh, back in 1991, um, I walked into Westwood One and dropped my DAT tape off. And there was a lot of, don't call us, we'll call you. So a couple of weeks later, I dropped it off again and got more of that. I said, over the course of time, I probably dropped maybe eight or ten of my tapes off at Westwood One. So it's amazing that you think my voice is so good now. Yet back then... You didn't think much of my voice. Mm-hmm. This has been me in Hollywood the entire time, Anna. So now I have a place oh, where please. I can go tell these Welcome people to, my world. <laughs> to kiss my big lily white ass. Right? So Is it a little hairy? Oh, oh uh, yeah. I got a smooth ass, Anna. I you have do? hairy legs. Yeah. yeah. You have hairy legs but a smooth ass. Stay tuned, folks, because Vinny has his uh, 23 and Me back. We'll talk about that later in the show if Anna reminds me. I've been dying to know how much black you are. I want it to be at least 30% uh, black. What is it? I know you have this announcement, but I'm I'm more interested in how black you are. I got an announcement before that announcement. So you you hang on to that. You just hang on. I just want to know if your blackness uh, exceeds my blackness. How much blackness did you have? 2.9%. Did you say 2.9, almost 3 yeah. 
girlfriend, and I can say girlfriend now. <laughs> girlfriend, you are Lily White. I know. Let's just but put not it as, this not way. As Lily, there's 2.9% coffee in my cream, okay? Uh, l- l- let me just put it to you this way. A lot can be explained about my cock now. Okay? Whoa! Okay. Okay? Okay. All right. So let's get back to the thing at hand. So I'm sitting there, and I let him go on and on. And I said, you know, um, I kept dropping tapes off at Westwood One back in 1991, probably through 1993. It's amazing that you didn't catch my voice back then. He turned red. He's not going to remember that. He turned red, and he goes, well, 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 obviously, I didn't hear it. One of my people, you know, my people right. heard it. And, they, and I, if I had heard it, if I would have, he started groveling. Mm. And as uh, fate would have it, he still doesn't have this show. Because as you know, Anna, I don't sell out. No. Ever. Right? Play a little Jeff yeah. Rotel about being in Hollywood again. And then he made his name in Hollywood. I said, though I can dream, I see that save me. Yeah, made his name in Hollywood to set the white man free. As a black man, Anna, as a black man, I will set the white man free. We'll learn about that later. (laughs) So, anyway, I was at the Adam Carolla show uh, several months back. Mm -hmm. And when I was walking out, you know, because I do a segment, you know, usually I'm on first. Right. And then they bring in. The, the heavyweight, the real guest. Like, right? for instance, David Crosby. Like David Crosby. Over the right. years, I've met the Jeff Goldblums of the world. And, oh, wait, I just dropped something. Jeff Goldblum. Oh, I know. Yeah. So, you better pick you know, that up. Whenever they say someone's coming in, they'll go, hey, coming in later. I'm always hoping that it's not a, a phone-in so I can meet them on the way out. You know? Sure, of course. And one day they say to me, um, coming in next is a guy named Peter Pardini. And, uh, Why is that name familiar? Uh, and, and I didn't you know, at the time. I went Peter Pardini. Hmm, should I know who that is? And, uh, I don't know, maybe I do. Maybe I don't. I don't know. But it sounded. And then I went. Oh, it's it's, it's Italian. Maybe I got relatives with the name Pardini. At family. I, I didn't know why the name sounded familiar to me. So when uh, I was exiting my seat, the next guest takes my seat. So I'm picking up my coffee and all this stuff. Because when I get there, I lay out a spread on it. You know, yeah, I got my note. Look, here are my notes for tomorrow's, you know, because unlike this show, I do notes for the Adam Carolla show <laughs> right. right here. You know, right. I'm, I'm more professional when I do that show. Oh, that's Although, good. Although we never get to the notes because all I have to say is, Adam, tell me about your mother. And then it's 30 minutes of him yelling. Right. So if I don't feel like doing my piece, I just go, Adam, tell right. me about your childhood. And he goes, yeah, 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 yeah. Wang, 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 wang. It sounds like a chainsaw right. going off. My so, mother in a casserole. My mother never made me a casserole. She never made me anything. I had to go to the neighbor's house and steal food. You know, which is pretty much the truth. The fact that that guy is still alive today is pretty amazing. Yeah. So Peter Pardini walks in, and he holds his hand out, and he goes, Hey, I'm Peter Pardini. I go, I'm Vinny Tartarich. He goes, I know who you are. I'm a big fan. So I'm thinking he's a big fan of my thing on the Adam Carolla show. Right. Right. I said, Oh, thanks, man. He goes, no, he goes, I don't think you understand. I've lost a lot of weight doing an S and G. Been oh, following wow. you for a while. Love your show. I went, oh, well, 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 th- th- thank you double. And so I made it a point the next day to listen to the Peter Pardini piece of the show. I'm not, obviously I'm not going to listen to my piece. I, I was sitting there. I know what we talked about. We talked about cancer wrong or whatever. Right. So I listen to see who Peter Pardini is. And sure enough, Peter Pardini is a filmmaker. He made the movie mm-hmm. um, uh, ab- about the band Chicago, right? Oh, cool. And uh, so I, uh, the, the movie, folks, if you guys want to go see it, it's on Netflix now for free, now more than ever, uh, The Life and Times of Chicago. And it's, I watched it, and I couldn't get enough of it. You know how some of these... Uh, these documentaries, you look at them and you go, oh, I, I'm just hanging in there just to, just to hang in there. Yeah. With this one, you're going, holy shit, I, I want more. Like when it's over, it's like you got the small ice cream 
when you bought right. the ice cream, you, you yeah. get that last bite and you wish you had got the medium. Yeah. That, that's what happens with this, except with Peter Pardini film, you want the large, right? Like right. you're begging for more, right? So I like Peter, and I called Peter up one night and left him a message because he gave me his number. And I said, Peter, I just saw you film, and I loved it. And uh, within 10 minutes, Peter called me back, and he goes, hey, man, I'm, I'm, I'm with Chicago right now at a concert. And um, I, I saw you, a, a number came in. I listened to the message, and I wanted to call you back and thank you in person. You know, you know, so we're doing that whole thing, you know. And I said, Peter, why don't you come on my podcast? And we could talk about, you know, I want to talk about you losing weight. So he did. Peter was on a Friday show. The, the show's already gone, gone out, and I know you don't get to listen to all the shows. As a matter of fact, yeah. I know you never listen to any of them. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so well. Peter was on a Friday show, and we talked about, he actually came to the house. We hung out, right? Very few people come to the cave, Anna. But uh, Peter came to the cave. We hung out. We had coffee. I gave him some coffee to go. I gave him some vitamins. We did the whole thing. Right. And um, on the way out, Peter said to me, he goes, why haven't, you know, because we talked about how everyone wants me to do a documentary. Well, I want you to docu do a documentary, too. Everybody wants me to do a documentary. Peter goes, why haven't you done a documentary? I said, well. Exactly. I, said, I agree with Peter. I said, because... W weren't you talking about it with Denny Tedesco, but then y'all couldn't work it out or something? I, I, I spoke to Denny once. He said he would get back to me, and I tried to call him a couple of times. Yeah. It's that Hollywood thing. And by the way, love exactly. loved Denny Tedesco and his movie about the uh, Wrecking Crew. The Wrecking Crew, really yeah. Really good. If you guys like those kind of documentaries, Denny Tedesco's is a gem. And he's good friends with Anna, and he and I had a sit down, and it didn't go anywhere. Yeah. So um, another Italian filmmaker, Danny Tedesco. So now Peter and I are having this conversation, and he, he starts saying, why? Why haven't you done it? Why haven't you done it? I said, you know, because everyone, I said, every, every, I said the, the one that everyone is like so up in arms about is this uh, what the health Right. I said, over the years, other controversial things have come out, like Forks Over Knives and all these right. other vegan propaganda films. And I said, you would be shocked, but a lot of people have come to me with these ideas. Let's do, your, let's do a version of this, but let's do it the other way. And, as, and I keep saying, no, I won't do that. I'm not going to just go put um, these people, the people who did What the Health and Forks Over Knives and, and uh, Cowspiracy, they're lying to you, right? Yeah. They're saying that an egg is equal to smoking 10 cigarettes a day and all this weird shit. I won't lie to people, right? right. I'm not going to just do the antithesis of what these people are doing and put it out there. To me, that's schlock. And, you but know, do I'm, you think these people believe their lies they're no, telling? No, no, no. It's all vegan propaganda. It's vegan. They know and, they're and, lying? And, and, yeah, that's what I'm saying. There's Michael Gregory is a smart man. He knows there's no way he thinks that an egg will cause a seven is a 70 on a glycemic scale. I cannot get one doctor, not one doctor to corroborate that. Not one. Okay. There's no way that one egg is equal to five cigarettes is not possible. Okay. Yeah. They know exactly. that they know they're lying. They have to know they're lying. Right. So Peter and I continue on with our conversation. Right. And he goes, uh, if you did a film, now we're sitting in my kitchen and we're having coffee. He goes, if you did a film, what would you do? I said, I would try to get the truth out there about how we got fat as a nation, how the, the richest country in the world became the most unhealthy, how this happened, how doctors, you know, you'll hear some bro science crap, right? And after you hear the bro science crap, all of a sudden, this bro science crap is, um, is on the tip of everybody's tongue, right? Uh, doctors are just rolling it off their tongue. And, and I'm talking about this, and I said, not only that, but I would like to invite these vegan doctors on. I'll be respectful and ask them how they came to their conclusions. Mm. And he said, that's brilliant. I said, yeah, I want to have a documentary talking about how we got fat, how this happened between the late 1950s and today. Basically, it all started around 1962, the year I was born. 
right? Right. I want to know how in my lifetime we went from the Zabruda film where everybody looks like a supermodel to where we are today where you could call yourself sporty and athletic and be a 250-pound woman. And I'm not goofing. I'm being honest. Go look uh-huh. at some of these profiles on Max.com or wherever. These people call themselves sporty, right? In my day, if you had an extra five pounds, you were a heavy chick. And I'm not fat shaming here. That's not what I do. I'm talking about where we've come and what we think is normal now, right? I want to know how we got there, Anna. That's all I'm trying to do, right? And I'm willing to have... Uh, I, I'm willing to have uh, I, I, you know people like uh, Neil Barnard, Michael Grieger, John McDougal, the guy who who went after Jimmy Moore. I don't know if you remember that. Who's Dean Ornish. From, yeah, Dean Ornish. Who's the guy from the Cleveland Diet Cleveland Clinic? That, What's his is name? Is that Esselstein or Esselstein? Yeah. I, I want. I, they're all. They will all be invited on. Joe Furman. They will all be invited on. All the top vegan doctors. I want to hear from them. I'm going to give them an open forum. I'm not going to shoot them down. I want to hear what they have to say, right? I'm going to also get the Gary Taubes of the world. I've already contacted Nina Taishos. She can't wait to talk, right? I've already, you know, I'm going to get all of them. Great. I'm going to get, That's awesome. I'm getting everybody from both sides of the aisle. I'm going to put it out there. When are you making it? Well, first, when are you I, starting? First, Anna, I got to make the money to make it. Oh, fundraising. Well, That's billionaire right. Don Coddington will fund it. I'm hoping he does. That's the other thing. People say, why don't you fund it yourself? I said, no, I, I want this to be funded by the people. Number one, I don't have the money. Are you going to do a Kickstarter? No, I'm, like I'm going to do a, how you say, Anna, and uh, uh, what's the other one? Uh, Indiegogo. Indiegogo. Now, Anna. I don't know the difference between the two. Are they not the same? Well, one of them, you, you know, you get a certain amount of money, then you got to put that money in and this and that and the whole thing. Now, Anna, what I'm going to do is we're going to officially announce this, not this week, not next week, but on the first, we're going to start the official, I'm, t- I'm talking about this way too early, but on the, here, let me, let me find a date, folks. Hang on. I'm going to find this date. Hang on. May, by the way, May is our, uh, our, our six year anniversary. Well, you know, we're going to be doing this on the sixth, sixth, Perfect. sixth anniversary because on May 7th, on that show, that's the Monday show, we're going to do the, – the, the Indiegogo is going to start that day. Peter Perfect. Pardini will be on the show with us, Anna, and we're going to talk about Great. this on that day. And we're going to open it up right then and there. But, folks, uh, here's the deal. You can, right now, I've, I've set this up today, and I don't really know how this works, but you can text the word NSNG. It could be large or small, just NSNG. Don't put any hashtag. Text it to 22828. Text NSNG to 22828. Okay? And then what happens? You can opt in and give me your, uh, your email address. Now, uh, and we, we're going to take those and let you guys know what's going on the entire time. You'll be right there in the front row. Here's Wait, the if thing. If I search Indiegogo now, is it up? No, not Indiegogo. This is just giving me your email so I can let you guys okay. know what's happening because we're going to start sending out emails before, right? Oh. Now, Anna. Got I went it. To, okay, he, I see he, Suzanne. So I, I asked my uh, lady, Suzanne, who set this up. I said, well, wait a minute. A lot of my people, they're going to say, well, I've, he already has my email address because maybe they opted in for the free PDF. The, right, exactly. Or That's something else, thinking. right? She said, don't worry about that. They won't get double emails. We, the, the list will cull this out. So it, send it anyway to 22828. Our list will cull out if you're, if you're already in there. You won't get double emails, okay? Right. Sign up for this, and then we're, we're going to do a big push. The only way this movie does not happen, Anna, is if the people speak. If the people don't give money for this the movie doesn't get made. That, it's as simple right. as that. Well, then you know. Yeah. And by there's, the way... Either there's interest or there's not interest. I'm not but begging for money for me. Th- this is not begging for money for me. I, I don't need money. I live quite happily being as broke as I can. So let's see here. Um, what's the date today, Anna? The 9th. Today is the 9th. So this show is coming out on the 16th. We have to record early this week. Yeah. Right. So this is coming out on the 16th. We so, might should do one more because I got to go to New York. Yeah. 
So on the 23rd, that's one week. And then uh, the next week is uh, uh, 23rd. And then we got the 30th. So, and then we got the 7th, right? So on the 7th, we're going to go for 30 days. And if we make enough money to do this movie, Peter tells me we need a minimum of $100,000. Now, every time, like I, I talked to Mike August about doing a movie, you know, over at Corolla at one time. I wanted to do the same movie. He goes, $400,000. You need four hundred. Actually, you need five hundred. dollars You need a half a million dollars. You'll, you'll need more money even after this because you'll need finishing money. It just, Anna, it just, that's what happens. Peter and I are putting, here's what we're doing. Okay. We're putting our time in for absolutely free. We, we're going to do everything we can for absolutely free on me and Peter. So we, you know, we're going to try to save this money. This is for photographers and for this and for that and for finishing. We're doing this on a tight budget because we, now look, if we get one hundred and fifty, two hundred thousand dollars, we can, we, you know, it would make life a started. lot easier. Yeah, we, yeah. It may, but if we have a hundred thousand, we can start. We know we right. can start. Great. And then if I have to go beg for money from my family and friends after that, or put a little bit of my own money in, I will. But. A hundred thousand gives us the green light. If we had a hundred thousand, like Amazing. as Peter put it, and we'll talk about this when he comes on. If we get a hundred and fifty thousand, then we're golden. A hundred thousand means this is a go go. This is an India go go. And I've never asked you guys. Look, as a matter of fact, I did ask you guys for money back when Anna and I first started. And people still send money to it. We have that that thing. It's not a whole lot. The super fan. Super fan. This. If you guys want the movie, the ultimate movie about health and how we got fat, if you guys want that, it's coming. Also, it's coming. I'm telling people. That sounds sign- awesome, Ben. I'm so excited. Anna, you hear how excited? I've I'm never been contribute. this excited on the show. I'm going to contribute. Oh, you damn right you're going to contribute, Anna. <laughs> you, you, and Don, billionaire Don Cotton. Listen, Anna, we already did a, um, we already did a, uh, a, like a little thing we put together. Uh, you know, a little uh, video. As a matter of fact, I'm going to have it embedded into this show. But oh, folks, great. sign up for my uh, my Instagram and also my Twitter and my Facebook because we're going to be putting, we have like a little three-minute intro video that Peter and I have already put together. I, I hired a photographer, you know, a videographer out of my pocket, a cameraman, he's not a videographer. And we set up a little thing and we did a little thing. We have a three-minute version we're going to do some one-minute versions. We're going to be throwing them up there for people to see what we're going to be doing. That's how excited I am about this news, Anna. And I want to make this film. So let's get it out there. Again, this does not put money in my pocket. This is not, oh, Vinny wants us to go fund him. I want the truth to be out there. And I want it to it. be on Netflix. And I want it to be on Amazon. I want it to be everywhere. I want people to see the truth and not come to me and go, oh, I just read a thing that if I eat an egg, uh, uh, and you know what, Anna? I'm going to just up to Annie a bit. You know who else is going to be invited on? Who? Kip. I'm going to, I'm going to invite (gasps) Kip. You have to invite Kip. Kip is invited. And by the way, folks, when you send your donations, I will also take your suggestions as to who you would like on both sides of the That's aisle. That's a great idea. You know, I don't know if we could get them all, and we can't, we can't make a movie five hours long, but I'm going to get who we can get. And I will bet most of these guys are going to slink away, and they're not going to come on. But I'm hoping a few of them will. Yeah. And you would be shocked. I, I can't announce it yet, but you would be shocked who's already willing to come on from the other side. So there wow. you go. Wow. Oh, I can't wait to hear about it. Anna, I- I've never been this fired up about anything in a long time. Right, Jethro? Yeah. Jethro is all good. Yeah. Listen to it. You know what's so amazing about him? He's got, you know, he's got, in, in his songs, you-, you hear the acoustic piano. It's not like some, you know, some you know keyboard and there's also the flute right and it's not all jazzed up women don't like him the way guys do right anna Uh, jethro tall to me is a a male band like rush right i mean like boston or bad company not they're not that they're in the same league as a rush rush is like the ultimate male band bachman turner overdrive bachman turner overdrive yeah 
Yeah, but Jethro Tull is something guttural, man. Listen to that, Anna. And they're amazing. I'm excited today. Can you tell I'm excited? I, you're so excited. Yeah, Anna, Anna I, I want this to happen more than anything I've ever done. This is so cool. They said I can never do a book, Anna. No, nobody wanted the book. They wanted me to change the book. Look what the book has done. Yeah. It's changing it's lives, Anna. It's changing lives. Well, and because you did your book, I did my book. And look at you, changing lives. Every day, I just got through doing some tweeting around. I really, oh, Anna's book. Oh, my God. I love Anna's book. Eat happy. Oh, my God. It's changing my life. Uh, go look, Anna. I was tweeting right before we got on today. People are like, oh, Anna's book. Oh, that's uh, Somebody nice. was Thank asking you. about the uh, fat shake, and, and I saw you had chimed in a little bit there with the fat shake. Oh, the, yeah. Yeah. Vinny's, Vinny's energy shake, we called it. Yeah. Because exactly. remember how we used to talk about how if they called fat energy, it wouldn't have such a bad rap? Mm-hmm. You would have Jason Fung on it? I love that guy. It, oh, Jason Fung will be invited. There will be an invitation to Jason Fung. There will be an invitation to um, uh, Ivor Cummins, D'Agostino. Yes. How about Lustig? How about Lustig. what's his name? Yanni Friedhoff. Uh, you know what? I will invite you. Yeah, the name? problem with some of these guys, they're up in Canada. So if I go see Yanni, oh, yeah. I can see him and Fung at the same time. Yeah, you need to do a little part Toronto of our problem. Now, Anna, I could tell you this: if we end up with like one hundred and fifty thousand dollars, even closer to two hundred. That will give me some travel dollars because it's not just me traveling there. I'll pay my own ticket. I don't care. Yeah. I, I got to get a cameraman there. I got to get, whenever you do the interviews, you got to have two cameramen and you got to have a sound guy. You have to have some production there, right? Yep. Totally. So I can go get Yanni and I can go get Jason Fung and all those guys if I have enough money. Right. If not, I'm going to be trolling at the conventions. I'll get like a hotel room <laughs> at, at the next you know, fat convention where D'Agostino and these guys might be to get their yeah. side of the story and then spend the money traveling because, you know, like one of these vegan doctors would go, yeah, I'd love to do it, but I can't get to you. Oh, yeah, I'm coming to you, pal. I'm coming yeah. to you. Exactly. Right? So, yeah. Yeah. So, That's Anna. That's awesome, Vin. Yeah. I'm totally stoked for you, and now, I hope everybody, everybody ch chips in. Me too. Anna, when does yeah. this show come out? This show comes out Monday. What's the, the date on that? 16th? Okay, so uh, I don't have to do a Thrive Market ad today, but we do have to do Villa Capelli, Anna. Well, should I plank while you do that? You know what? How long are we going for on the plank today? I think I'll be lucky if I make two and a half minutes. Because you've been already harder exercised, than right? easier. Yeah, I've already exercised today. Well, all right, let's, wait, before you plank, let's talk about that. Are you doing, so, it, every, are you doing it every day? Every day. Every day. Ah! Ah! Aha. So I did the I did the three minutes the last time we recorded, which uh -huh. was probably five days ago. Right, right. And now I, ha I haven't been able to get past two forty. I've been at like two fifteen, and it's been excruciating. All right, Anna, you know why? Because yeah. I'm worn out. You're not giving your body time to recuperate. Well, then why do we do a plank challenge every day for sixty days? I, that's you, idiots. I didn't do that. <laughs> Are you calling Carrie Hines an idiot? I, I guess I am. I'm calling her name out. Yeah, Carrie Hines with your idiot. Yeah, Carrie Hines. All right, so listen, Anna. I'm just kidding. Carrie Hines is an absolute delight. I, I'm sure she is. Um, You'd love her. Is she hot? She's in the group. Is she hot? Yeah, she's hot. She's totally hot. And I think it's her story. I'm not sure if it's her story or somebody else's, but she has her before and after, like her whole process of NSNG pictures. She didn't lose any weight, but her body completely, like, recompositioned itself does that make sense oh yeah so it looks like she lost 20 pounds but she weighs the same but her body looks completely different you see you you see that how all the time that? how does that ha why does that happen that is she way? the one in cincinnati i don't know where she is have you seen her picture where she has the she has the picture of her standing like that you know si side to camera and she has like a jog bra and and I'm looking at a Carrie Hines I think it's Carrie Hines I'm looking at a Carrie Hines right now that's pretty damn cute Yeah she's really cute Yeah like like oh my god cute I'm trying to see but, if there's So any... what are you saying are you saying we shouldn't do 60 days in a row of planking or we should do it but maybe don't try to push to the max every day Carrie I'm sorry I called you an idiot you're really cute <laughs> Carrie, uh, you just redeemed yourself. Yeah, <laughs> your cuteness just redeemed you. Yeah. Um, okay. 
Yeah, this is her. Oh, my God, she's hot. Yeah. yeah, I told you. Yeah, yeah, Anna, you're right. I mean, she didn't lose any weight, and now she looks like that. So that's the right one I'm thinking of. Uh, yeah, yeah. If I'm looking at the right Carrie, so Hines. can you explain that phenomenon? How do you? And she also claims she's not big on exercise, but oh. her body is. She's hot. Is she married, Anna? I'm sure. And I'd have to do something to her. <laughs> All right, moving on. Huh? What? Poor Carrie. <sighs> Look at those eyes. Yeah, she's married. Look at those eyes, Anna. And yeah. this is going to get you, too. She's super friggin' smart. She's always helping out in the group. Uh, I don't know if I like smart women. <laughs> I got you. That's enough. Serena. It's enough. You know, you're surrounded. Gina yeah. Grad. Gina Grad. Yeah, I got too many smart women got around. got too many smart women around. Enough. Yeah. Carrie, enough with being a triple threat. You know what I mean? Wait a minute. Is this her before she lost weight? That's what I'm trying to find her picture. She posted it. Let me see if we can find it in the Facebook group. This is not interesting to anybody else, but because I want you to. Yeah, talk but I'm about... looking at this woman going, wait a minute. If this is the right woman. Hold on. I'm going to find the picture. Carrie, you're going to have to send us that picture if I don't find it in the show. And Carrie, send it yeah, uh, yeah, send it to me if you find it, Anna. I'm, um, I'm looking. All right, so let me get back to you and, and do an exercise, the same exercise every day. Yeah. Your body, you need. The thing that makes us stronger is not when we're exercising, it's the rest we get in between. I make that very clear. And people, well, what about aerobics? I do aerobics every day. You could do aerobic activity more often. As a matter of fact, I tell people, if you do three days in a row of running, take the fourth day off and then go five, six, and then take the seventh day off. Okay. Right? Right. Your body actually, when you do anything anaerobic, which is what planking is, at first, you know, you could keep up, but after you start doing more and more and more time, you run into trouble, right? Well, see, that's you, the thing. And I'm wondering, did I hit some sort of limit that I need to take a day off and then I, if I were you, back up? Anna, or, or should I just do like two minutes every day just for a 60-day challenge and that's not the end well, of the world? Well, you see, why do the challenge if the challenge is not going to help you? But I'm saying it's making me consistently plank every day and it's giving me a new habit, which I like. Right. So maybe but, after the challenge, uh, you, you, no, over, you, you I don't continue you know, to do see, it every single you, day. You remind me of everyone I talk to. You, you're stuck on ceremony. I'm trying to get you past that. It's like, well, well, I, want to, I want to have a good habit to do every day. You know, it's a good habit, wiping your ass, brushing your teeth. You, you can't do the same. If I walked in every day, Anna, uh, now the bro science guys are going to go, oh, he's got a point. If I walked in every day and did heavy bench press, you think I could keep doing the same thing day in and day out? Anna? Hold on. I think I just found... Oh, maybe this is not her then. I don't know. Carrie, you need to send that picture of the girl whose body composition changed, whether it's you or not. But I'm seeing some pictures of her, and she's lost a lot of weight, and she's beautiful. Yeah, I'm looking at a beautiful woman here, too. If I'm not looking at the right Carrie Hines, I'd like to think this is her. <laughs> no, that's her. With the T-shirt and the selfie, she's holding the phone. Uh, yeah, she... Yeah, yeah. And she's got like a cow. It shows uh, that this is what the pyramid should be. Cow, she has cow, a cow, pig, pig. Yeah, okay. Yeah, and yeah the that's top her. cheese. Yeah. yeah. She's so cute. All right, Anna. Yeah. So it would be like if I walked in and bench pressed every day and every day tried to bench press more weight. Before long, okay. there would be a diminishing return. You can't do it. Okay. But if I take a break... And even did it every other day. That would be better. Okay. Right? Your body all needs right. a break. So, all right. So, well, Anna, I'm still going to plank today while you do the act. Oh, whoa, whoa. No, 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 no. Did you plank yesterday? Yes. Okay. This is a little something we call tough love. I'm not allowing you <laughs> well, to Well, then plank. what should I do? I want to do something else. Yesterday, all right, I all right, wait, to do all right, Anna, you want me to give you something to do in between your plank days? Yeah. All right. You still got your kettlebell? Yeah. All right. Go grab it. And I want you to... Do kettlebells, you know, the, the swing. The entire time, she's got a 20-pound oh, bell. I know. I'm going to go get the 15-pound. This 25-pound one's too heavy for me. I'm going to go all get right. the 15. Uh, so, you start the ad. I'll be right back. All right. You go, Anna. You go get in okay. shape. All right. Folks, <clears throat> right before I started the show today, uh, I, I spent time. Look, I'm getting ready for a lot of things. I'm getting ready to do this challenge uh, on the bayou. That's one thing. The other thing I'm getting ready to do is uh, billionaire Don Coddington and me and my nephews, we're going to go up Mount Whitney again. And I need to be in great aerobic shape for both of those. 
Uh, woke up this morning, I had myself uh, two eggs with two extra yolks, and then I went off, and um, uh, today I didn't have a lot of time on my hands, but I spent uh, 90 minutes on a stair climber in zone two. <clears throat> I then came home and immediately got on my uh, my paddle erg in my office for another hour and a half. So I was three hours of exercise, and then I, it was time for me to call Anna to do this okay. podcast. <laughs> All right, Anna, I'm telling a story here about Villa Capelli. So okay. I didn't have time to eat yet today. And uh, I wanted to have a little something in me. So I made a cup of coffee, uh, brought it here to the desk with me. It's black. Um, but I also... Can you see me while you're doing that? Yeah, Anna, I can see you. All right, now, Anna, yeah, all right, get a look. All right, Anna. Yeah. Here's the thing. All right, go down into your squat position and hold it. All right, so what I want you to do is just... Push your hips forward. Like we call it the marrying motion. Like that. That's the move. Now go back down and then push forward. That's the move. Right? Oh, you don't want me to swing it? No. I want you to do it and where, the kettlebell swings itself. Right? I don't, and every time you go to get a little higher, I don't want you throwing it up. That Now you do it. You, you see the difference, Anna? Yeah. You're doing it now. People, I see people at the gym, they go, oh, I think I'm supposed to be doing this thing with my hips, and I got to throw this thing up, and they got it all over their head and everything. If it's going, I always tell people, somewhere between rib and nipple height, you're right where you need to be. All right, can you keep doing that while I'm doing the sand? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. There she goes, folks. She's getting in shape. So anyway, um, I, I wanted to have a little something in me, so I poured myself about an ounce and a half, maybe even two ounces of Villa Capelli, I put some Redmond Real Salt in it. Uh, that's the salt we're going to be using in our electrolyte yeah. formula. I love that salt. So uh, went over to my buddy Doug and Karen's house on Saturday night. They uh, had the Redmond Real Salt over there. Anyway, put a little bit in there, and I just I sipped it down. Uh, while Anna and I were getting ready to do the show, I was sipping on that Villa Capelli. I'm so sad that I'm out of it now. And I'm stuck to I this have mic. Some for you. No, I'm not. I'm out of some at my desk because I would have another shot. Oh, got it. I know you're thinking that's crazy if you're new to this show. Well, a guy drinks olive oil. What's wrong with him? He's trying to put calories in his body. Yes, those are not the calories that will get you fat. Those are the calories that will get you healthy and sated and fueled up, folks. Villa Capelli is not the only olive oil out there, but boy, I can sure vouch for it because. They only use fresh olives. They will not make it. Sometimes they run out. They won't make it before it's time. They won't buy oil from other uh, uh, entities and call it Italian olive oil from uh, Puglia. They wait until those trees are shaking those olives off themselves. They press them right there, and they send it to you. I can vouch for it. Anna has been to the property a couple of times, and Andy Schreiber has been there. And I'm we, going again this summer. She's going there. Her daughter's going to be there this summer. Andy Schreiber and I use Villa Capelli in our D3 plus K over at Pure Vitamin Club. Best olive oil in the world. If you want this stuff, go to VinnyTortoris.com. Click through the banner, the Villa Capelli banner. When you get to check out, put in the promo code Vinny, V-I-N-N-I-E. You will get 10% off your entire order. They have all kinds of great stuff there. Villa Capelli. V-I-N-N-I-E. Don't put the wimpy Y on there or they will not give you any discount. Okay. Anna? Yeah. I want you to do that on every other day. Okay. When you're not planking. And okay. you will notice that magically your plank time will start to go up. Okay. I'll keep track of them. I take a screenshot every day. I mean, yeah. every other day. So you go tell that cutie pie, Carrie Hines, that you're going to back oh, off I'm gonna, a little bit. I'm going to tell her that we just got served. The plank group just got served by yeah. Vinny Tortorich. Okay. And uh, you know, they could do what they want, uh, but, and I'm glad people are moving, and I'm glad they're doing it. But yeah. um, you will get better results uh, if you take a little time in between. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. Um... Anna, so we yeah. talked about my uh, making a movie. I'm going to be a big Hollywood producer like Jethro Bodine. Do you We're know that? We're talking about means? your 23 and Me, please. 23 and Me. Let me see, Serena. Honey? I'm signing in to see mine too. Uh, I thought Serena was here. Let's see if she comes in. Serena. Hmm. She's not coming in. She ain't coming in. 
my 23 in me, Anna. I am 74% Italian. Wow. Yeah, I'm way more Italian than I thought. You know, both of my parents are 100, you know, you know, as they would say, both of them, you know, their families both came from Italy. But you never know where people might have meandered in from, right? Yeah. Especially, you know, before and after the war and all this kind of stuff. But, you know, when, when you look back at my heritage. But what are the, what are the other European, because I bet you have other, like I have Balkan in mind, which makes sense because I'm from Puglia, which is the side that's across the Adriatic from the Balkans. So obviously they came over, made babies. And then made more babies. And so I have half Italian, half Balkan on that I, side. I have 9% uh, Northern Africa. Wow. Wait, yeah. Northern Africa, though, is different. Yeah, it's basically uh, uh, the word. I'm 2.9% they... Sub Saharan African. That's black, honey. Yeah. Uh, no, they said. And my... that's from my mom's side, which uh, means somebody was doing something from the, the, from the English side. The word they used for me was Arabian. Ara- yeah, you're yeah. Arabian. That's why you're all dark. Yeah, swarthy. Yeah. Yep. And the rest was, you know, you know, this and that, you know, all that, you know. So there's not a whole lot left there, but it's like, look, 1% this, 1% that. That's why I wanted Serena to come in because she actually, I didn't actually look at it. Serena read it to me while we were having dinner. <clears throat> um, anyway, there you go, Anna. Uh, I have- Wow, did you look at the at the health things? Ooh, they just put the Burka, the Bricka, or whatever was it called, the BRCA one and two. Yeah. They didn't have that when I first did this test. They didn't do any of the health stuff, and so I just looked at the report. I have zero variants detected in the Bur- the Bricka, Bracca, Bracca. It's called Bracca. That's yeah, what they call it. it's called the Bracca so gene. That's good. And I then don't... zero variant, zero variants of Parkinson's, but a slight increased uh, possibility of having celiac disease. <laughs> You know, Anna, I've never Duh. opened mine. 23 and me. Let me see if I can find it. I think that's funny. Wait, what does it say? Yeah, slightly increased risk of celiac disease and age-related macular degeneration. And the rest looks all right. I'm pretty lucky. All right, let's see here. Oh, this asking me to sign in and all this stuff. I don't know what my sign-in is. So that won't be happening. <clears throat> anyway, Serena I only wish it. I had gotten my mom to do this before uh, she passed away. And then also I wish I, that this was possible to do before my grandmother passed, because I would love to tell her that her side of the family had black blood in it. You know what I mean? Like you just want to tell your most great racist Anna, grandparent. That- <laughs> I wanted mine to be 30% black. <laughs> oh, I know you did. We used to talk about that in the earlier ones. You're like, I'm at least 25% black. I was like, I don't think. Because then one of your grandparents would have to be 100% yeah. black, which none of us are 100% anything. Right, right. If you get anywhere, I'm guessing anywhere around 60, 70% of anything, you're that. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah. Um, have you ever been to the Borghese Museum? No, what's that? The Borghese is in Rome. And they have. Oh, a... oh yeah. Yes. Yes, I have, but it was a long time ago, 1994. They have a lot of these um, uh, Italian bust, you know, of all these uh, senators from the Roman yes. era. And, right. they're, you know, as you know, like you, you can see Bernini's David and this and that mm-hmm. and all this great. There's more Bernini in there than anything else. Right. And but along the top, you know, how they do it in those Italian, like along the top race, they have all these bust, right, of, of all these. Roman uh, uh, senators and emperors and all this stuff, right? Serena and Tallulah were walking around going, oh, my God, that one is identical to you. Like, I look like about 50% of these guys. And there's one over one door. We know exactly where <laughs> it is. I you do. Serena's like, okay, that one is freaky. There's one of them. She, you know, when you can't see what you look like because you only see one dimension of yourself your right. whole life. Right. So I look at it and go, I don't see it at all. Like, I don't see it. Right. Re- remember the guy I told you about in the gym? His father kept walking up to, to me going, you remind me of my son. Yes. And one day I see this guy in the gym and I'm like, God, that guy looks awfully familiar. Yeah. But I'm looking at a three dimensional of this guy. Right. It's the same thing when you see a bust of yourself. And Serena and Tallulah are going like they're the. Blood is draining out of their face. They're going, oh, my God, that's exactly, that looks like you, identical, yeah. right? But to me, it doesn't. 
But I look like a lot of those senators from the Roman era. So who knows, Anna? I could have been one of those guys. Could have, you probably could have were. Of, yeah. You probably are. Oh, look at me. Yeah. Look at you. Yep. yep. Look at you. Also, doing the 23andMe is how I found out. Because I put it, I put it in that free open source software, that geneticgenie.org. Because mm-hmm. when I did the 23andMe what, five years ago, they wouldn't let you get, see the health information, but you could take the raw data and import it as an XML file into geneticgenie.org. And then I found out I had the MTHFR gene, which is the thing that you know you can't uh, digest anything but the active form of the vitamin. Right. It's like a gene mutation, which is why your vitamins are so good for people like me right. who have absorption problems. Um, I like the 23andMe. It's, it's a cool thing. But well, you know what's crazy? People are finding out that they're adopted because they're doing 23andMe and people are finding out that like... Really? Yes. A, a, a girlfriend of mine, one of my close friends in Atlanta, she did her 23andMe and she uh, both her parents are Irish and uh, she looks very Irish. She looks like black Irish, you know, with the pale skin and the green eye, or bl- dark blue eyes and the black hair. Yeah. And uh, she did her 23 and me and it came back 47 percent Ashkenazi Jew. And wow. she was like, she was like, what? Well, who is that? Who in the family? And her mom was like kind of squirrely about it, not really answering her. And then like BuzzFeed said, I want to do we want to do a story on you, how your result was totally different than what you've been told your whole life. And she called her mom and her mom finally copped to uh, she had had an affair. So her dad, who she thought was her dad, wasn't her real dad. Can you imagine finding wow. that out at 42 years old? Wow. Isn't that crazy? Well, um, uh, it's, it's outing. It's outing family lies. It's very interesting. And also that lie that like, you know, people you say like, I'm one eighth Cherokee. Yeah. I'm one sixteenth Cherokee. People are finding out they're not. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, I, I knew this girl, Anna. Um, she was she was a model. We used to be roommates. And. The way she found out that she was, well, her story is even more amazing than that. She, the teacher, they were like in third or fourth grade, and the teacher was talking about genetics, right? And and what this means or something. And she was saying to all the kids, you ever notice that, you know, like you, if you have brown hair and brown eyes, if you notice your parents, you know, either one or both will have brown hair and brown eyes and. And all the kids are going, oh, yeah, both of my parents. Oh, yeah, one of my, I look just like my right. mom and the whole thing. And this girl, oh, no. Christine, you know, blue eyes, blonde hair. And both of her parents are like swarthy looking dark. They look like my parents, right? Right. I've met her parents. And she's like sitting there going, huh, I don't look like either of my parents. Come to think of it, I look nothing like my brother. You know? <laughs> So she's, she goes home and she says to her parents, she goes, look, this happened in school today. Uh-oh. And they both start looking at each other, right? Mm-hmm. And uh, they go, hmm, well, uh, honey, we got something to show you. <gasps> what had happened was when she was born, uh, she was called the Chris, uh, th- there were articles about her. She was the Christmas miracle baby found uh-huh. on the steps of a church just born, wrapped up in a swath, you know, oh in, my God. in a basket with a sign saying, I'm, I'm so sorry, I, I just had a, a, a child and I cannot take care of it and left it on the literally on the church, church in snow doorstep. Yeah. And this family was wow. this really Christian family from the church and they adopted her. And uh, she had the two most Aww. loving parents you can ever have. But she found out about it when the teacher went, you ever notice when you look like your parents? And by the way, that girl we had on the show, Jen. Remember Jen? Oh, Jen Bricker? Bricker. Jen, oh, Jen Bricker. Oh, my Folks, God. Amazing. Go look up this story. If you want to see. This go is look, crazy. Look up Jen Bricker. I, I, I can't tell you guys the whole story. But, um, you know, her sister was uh, that, that gymnast, right? Dominique Marciano. Yeah. But Jen Bricker's American and Dominique Marciano, Marciano what's her name? Yeah, uh, Marciano. JenBricker.com. Or something like that. Go, go to Jen Bricker. Um, she, she's this unbelievably gorgeous woman. She's been on the show a couple of times. I think she was on with me and Anna at least once. Uh, I've gone over and met her in person. Um, she, was, she, she was born with no legs, period. None yep. whatsoever. 
but always wanted to be a gymnast. She learned how to skate, Anna, roller skate on her hands yeah. when she was a kid. Uh, I'm trying to think of and, and she became like this gymnast, and um, her hero was Dominic, I, I don't know how to pronounce it, M-O-C-H-E-A-U, something like that. Mm-hmm. Marcianu, who, you know, that was always her hero in the Olympics. Turns out they were real sisters. Her father, I mean, you look at them, they look identical in their faces. Oh, yeah. And there's a third sister. They all look I, They all look exactly alike. So there's three of them. Oh, no. Dominique Mosiano is American. <laughs> that was really dumb. I didn't yeah, know but she was the American. Why did from, I think she was like Romanian? Well, because the parent, they're, they're from Russia. Russia. And the parents, when, when she was born and they saw she was born with no legs, they just left the hospital. They left the baby at, they left Jen at the hospital and the Brickers. That's insane. Yeah. Um, because they, they were from Russia. They always wanted to have championship daughters and, um, that was it. That's, that's what they were going to do, you know? And, um, uh, these girls were reunited and there's a third sister. I think she stays quiet. I, I don't know what the third sister does, but. It's it's an amazing story, folks. Go check it out. Whenever you feel bad, you go. I got a bum knee, or I got this, I got that, yeah. I got the other. Go go watch anything Jen Bricker's doing. If you think her sister was amazing, oh. her, her sister's nothing compared to what this woman. Oh, does. it says here Mosianu was born in Hollywood, California, to two Romanian immigrants. Yeah. So yeah. wait, did they leave her? Where they left Jen at the hospital in here in Hollywood? I. Don't know. I, I don't know. I can't Something remember like that. that part of the story. But it's cra- and it's so funny. You see their faces; they look identical. It, it, they Dominique do. They do. And Jen look identical. And Jen still works as a gymnast. I think she's in Vegas. She makes money doing like this this routine in Vegas. Yeah. Um, and For she's her. an incredible gymnast. Make no mistake. Completely into fitness. Let me see what her book is called. Everything is possible. It might be on the Vinny Book Club. If it's not already on the Vinny Book Club, it will be with this show. Right, Tallulah? Let's get Jim Bricker's book, Everything is Possible, in the Vinny Book Club. Um, you guys will love this woman. I've forgotten about the book. I had her on after she did the book again. She's amazing. Um, I have one more. fit. I know we're kind of running out of time here, but yeah. I had one more fitness question because we kind of talked about uh, last week you had brought up Pilates for a hot second and I know that you have opinions on yoga and so, but we've never really actually talked about Pilates. Is it exercise? Is it actually strength training? I'm not for it or against it. I'm just, I wanted to ask cause people were asking cause we brought it up for like a hot second. I was wondering if you could address that. Pilates is exercise. Um, it, it, I, I consider that exercise the, the way Pilates got started was because, um, uh, a guy, uh, he was a dancer back in the 1920s or 30s who got mm-hmm. hurt. He had a hurt back. Yeah, he was trying to rehabilitate himself. Yeah, and he didn't want to lose. dancing is very hard on the body. Exactly. He didn't want to lose your ground while he was uh, getting it back. And uh, he created Pilates. His name was Pilates. Joseph and, Pilates, yeah. I think, right? And uh, that that's how the whole thing started. And, uh, yeah, uh, Pilates but is you- real exercise. I, I but What's you're talking question? about using the reformer, right? As opposed to the floor exercises. It's like everything. You know, paleo is not paleo anymore. You right. Know, everything becomes something else at some point, right? And that that bugs the crap. As you know, Anna, that that's that bugs the crap out of me. Um, everything always becomes something else. Um, People go, oh, I can eat it as paleo. No, it's a candy bar. It's not paleo. (laughs) It's paleo granola and it's covered in honey. And people go, oh, no, it's Pilates. It's Pilates. Where's the reformer? Oh, no, this is Pilates. Oh, oh, because um, Julie didn't have enough money to start a Pilates studio. She couldn't buy five reformers, so she just created Pilates on the floor. Does that make it bad? No, some of that's really good. Right. But doing full-on Pilates is actually doing a weight bearing exercise. Or, or you know, there's a lot type. of studios that have opened up here in LA called, and I haven't been yet, uh, called wonder bar or is there basically Pilates studios where they have a shit ton of reformers, but I haven't been cause I'm curious because they're not like the big reformers. They look like a smaller truncated version. So I wonder I might right. go take one just to see. 
Check it out and, and report back to us, Anna. I will. I will. I'll be, I'll be Anna in the streets. Hey, Anna. Uh, we're going to go out bad. to Anna That sounds in like the I'm streets. a hooker, but I'm not, um, I'm not an actual hooker. I'm just an exercise hooker, if you we know what I mean. We call you Anna from the block. That's what we'll Anna from you. the block. Yeah. And that block <clears throat> is North Hollywood. So, Anna, should we do an Amazon winner? Yeah. And I'll save the stuff for next time. Maybe we'll re- record in a few more days. Yeah, well, yeah, absolutely. We got a lot of stuff. And I'm sorry I kind of hogged the whole show talking about my thing, but I'm no, excited about it. No, this is so it. excited. When we record in a few days, do we need to have uh, the website ready to go? Is that going to be the episode that's going to be? No, no, earth? no. It'll be the one after. It'll be the one on May 7th. Okay. That's when we're okay. opening up. But like I said, I'll, I'll repeat everything at the end of this show so that people can go do it. Because a lot of people listen they're exercising, and they go, oh, I'll go back and listen. I'll repeat it at the end of the show. Got it. Um, Amazon winner, Laura Economides. I know an Economides. I have a friend named Economides. I wonder if they're related. It's a Greek name, Anna, a Greek name. It sounds like a, a name of a god. Yeah, Laura Economides. Like Economides, the god Economides, like, uh, fucked a rabbit, and then Athena was born. You know what I mean? Rabbit like fucking, be, that, Anna, I, I won't stand for that kind of bestiality on this show. <laughs> well, talk to the ancient Greeks. Outside of goats, we don't fuck animals, Anna, okay? Outside of goats. Okay. Right. <sighs> she bought, is, oh, obviously, she obviously my influencer page is working because she bought Redmond's Real Salt. As you know, that's nice. the salt Andy and I will be using in our next product, the, um, the uh, uh, electrolyte. Mm-hmm. She also bought the Carlson's fish oil. Anna, people ask me all the time, uh, hey, man, you, I know you got your vitamin company. Is there any stuff you recommend that you don't sell? Yeah, fish oil. And they always ask me, which one do you use? And I, I say Carlson's, and that's why I have it on my uh, page there. And, oh, and um, she also bought sprouted pilly nuts. So, yeah, she bought a bunch oh, of yeah, stuff. Oh, yeah, you're supposed to bring me pilly nuts, too, when we do our exchange. God. And can we do the exchange tomorrow? Because I'm going over to Corolla. Yeah. What time? Uh, what time you go can there? Can we talk what right t- after the show? Because I got to be yep. there at one thirty. So remind I can me, go, Anna. I can do afterwards. I can't do beforehand. I can't do after. Fuck! Scott and I are going to a baseball game. <sighs> Come on, Anna. What time would Help you, a brother? I have to I have to leave here for a session right, right, at like twelve fifteen. Let, let's do it after the show. I, I need this oil. I might come early. But then that okay. oil is going to be cooking in my car at, at Corolla. I know. Uh, Are you going straight from Corolla to downtown? You, you know, if I five? bring it into Corolla with me, I, I'll never see it. it. I'll never They're see it again. They're going to take it. Those yeah. savages. They They're take just going to take it from you. Yeah. Bunch of gypsies over there. Um, mm-hmm. Okay, so those are the three things Laura uh, bought. Anna, tell the good folks how they can be an okay. Amazon winner. She didn't say what she wanted. I'm going to send her some coffee and some vitamins, and uh, that's it, coffee and vitamins. That's good. Yeah. Um, here's how you become an Amazon winner. You're going to shop at Amazon anyway. Here's what you do. Go to VinnieTortorich.com and click through the Amazon banner that's right smack at the top of the page. Real easy to find. And that's going to bring up uh, Vinny's Amazon influencer page. You can pick out stuff that we've talked about on the podcast. That'll be listed there. Or just put whatever you're going to search for in the search bar and just shop and be done with it. And then what you do when you're done shopping is that you take a screenshot or forward your receipt to Vinny at VinnieTortorich.com. And then we put you into a hat and we pick a winner at random for every Monday show. And what happens is that the, this way of doing it, by going to Vinny Tortorich and clicking through that banner, it tags your purchase and Amazon sends us a little taste. It doesn't cost you anything extra, but it helps uh, put some coal in the fire of this podcast, help gets our train down the track. And uh, we need it. So thank you. Wait, hang on, Anna. I'm calling somebody. Uh, it, Phil a little bit, Anna. Phil. What? Who are you oh, calling? Damn, she's not picking up. All right. So she's not picking up. I, I wanted someone to make sure I was doing this, this thing right, but I think I am doing it right. Doing what thing right? This thing right here. I'm, I'm going to say it again. So ha- folks, oh, Anna, oh, oh, the Indiegogo Anna, text link to get the emails? Yeah, yeah. Anna, why don't you opt in right now and see what happens? Okay. So I send, what did you say to do? Send All NSNG right. to what number? All right. Text NSNG to... The number two two eight two eight. 
They shouldn't start the number. They shouldn't make the first number a two because you're going text it to two two eight. It sounds like an extra two in there. There it is. Hello, please reply with your email address and get updates from Vinny. All right, so do that. See what happens. Putting my email in. Right. There she goes. Okay. All right, and I guess send that off. Great, great. Oh, great to have you on board. You will now get Vinny's updates. There should be an apostrophe in Vinny's updates. Put life into living and do it with enthusiasm. Okay, um, so there you have it. So it's NSNG, text NSNG to that works. the number That's great. 22828. And we, we, we will let you know what's going on with the movie and when the Indiegogo starts. And also, we are putting up a lot of stuff on Instagram. I have an Instagram account. A- Anna, do I have 2,000 people, 3,000 or something? Oh, I'm sure you do. Well, I just started, and they told me it takes a long time for stuff to happen. Let's see Let's here. Let's see. Oh, oh I, and I almost have 3,200 people. Yeah, right? you're doing 31, good. 3,193. Uh, 3,193. I put little videos up there. I got a lot of little videos. I got, uh, you know, stuff up there for you guys to see. I, I, I post everything. Yep. I answer your questions, all kinds of stuff. Yep. And, and uh, if you want to drool over food pictures, yeah. follow Anna on Instagram, Anna Vicino. Anna, every now and then I will, like, repost one of your food things. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. And every now and then I'll repost one of your podcasts, usually yeah. one that I'm in. Yeah. Such a slut. Okay, <laughs> folks. Uh, let, me, let me get back to this. Folks, on behalf of Anna Vicino, put life into living. Wait, yeah, I, I did Amazon. Put life into living <laughs> and do it with a little more toe. <laughs> Out more podcast episodes on iTunes. Follow Vinny and Anna on Twitter or contact us with your fitness questions at VinnyTortorich.com. Hi everyone, Serena here, letting you know that the new free intro to NSNG guide is here now. Available at VinnyTortorich.com forward slash learn. VinnyTortorich.com forward slash learn. Do you like eating ingredients in paint? I didn't think so. But guess what's an ingredient in your vitamin? Titanium dioxide. Nobody wants to eat paint. Instead of eating paint, why don't you check out purevitaminclub.com, the purest vitamins ever made. Vinnie Tordrich makes these vitamins. There's a multivitamin and a broad-spectrum magnesium. Nothing but vitamins in Pure Vitamin Club. No paint, no silica, no talc, no titanium dioxide. If you want to buy these vitamins, and I highly recommend you do, go to purevitaminclub.com. They're the best quality vitamins for the lowest possible price. In fact, I've told Vinny he needs to raise the price, but he's not going to. Go check out purevitaminclub.com. You can get a monthly subscription or get them one month at a time. Purevitaminclub.com, the best vitamins ever made. Hey. You guys want to take it to the next level, or maybe you've stalled a little bit in your weight loss. Maybe you want to run a marathon. Maybe your first ultra. It doesn't matter what it is. I do consults. You can go to VinnyTotoris.com, look along the right side of the homepage. It'll say, talk to Vinny today. You can sign up for a consult. Just wanted to let you guys know that that's available. Okay, talk to you soon.